You see, it's interesting because I was talking about this with a, with a group of, uh, of unsaved people not too long ago. And I, I believe there were was, there was some saved people and, and a lot of unsaved people. And it was like a college group. And I was, I was discussing this subject. And they were asking me about this. And we were talking about this. And I was preaching this from the Bible to them. This is just a couple weeks ago. And it's amazing how some of the people who were, who were atheist or, you know, agnostic or whatever they want to call themselves, people who deny or do not believe in the existence of, of God, they don't believe the Bible, they don't believe in Jesus. You know, it's amazing when I started talking about this doctrine, you could see that a couple people, it really put the fear of God into them. You know, there's a lot of people there, it just means nothing to them. But I noticed a couple of people, it made a big impact on them because they had this attitude like, well, I'm still searching, I'm still looking around. And when they began to hear these doctrines, and I was turning these scriptures and reading them, it had a noticeable effect where you could tell that this doctrine scared them. That it could be too late for me someday, that I can't, you know, that I'll lose my chance, that I'll become hardened, that I will never be able to be saved, that it'll be too late. And as I preach this doctrine, it made a noticeable impact on people. But, you know, we've watered this doctrine down today. And hide it. And then people just think, oh, there's always another... No, there's not another chance. It can be too late. It's a, it's a, it's a sad truth. It's, it's not something maybe you want to dwell on, but it is the truth nonetheless.